What's up everybody? Captain Foggy here from Mind Sculpting MTG. Just got out of the gym. Day after the release of Hour of Devastation. And guess what? It's time to go get our first booster box and crack it open for y'all. Anyways, heading over to the Gamers Hall right this second. I'm gonna pick up a booster box of our devastation. Get home. See if we can pull us a God Pharaoh. That'd be awesome, y'all. Anyways, check y'all back in just a moment. Going up to the Gamers Hall. Get us a booster box of our of devastation, y'all. Let's do this. Here we are at Gamers Hall. Mr. Burroughs right there. Mr. Go Blake getting me a fresh box. Fresh box. Out of a fresh case. Yeah. Now the question is, uh, pick a number between one and six. Uh, three. There it is. Boom. Woo! Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Check it out. First box of Hour of Devastation. I cannot wait to get home. I'm so excited. I almost couldn't even remember where I parked at. But damn, woo! Folks, next time you see me, I'm gonna be busting this box open. Stay tuned. And we're back. All right, so now it's time to see what kind of goodies we got in this box here, y'all. Hour of Devastation is upon us. There we go. So, let's see. Should we start here? Here? Or meow? We're just gonna start right here. And our rare abandoned sarcophagus. There you go. All right, so for three mana, you got an artifact. You may cast non land cards with cycling from your graveyard. If a card with cycling would be put into your graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, exile instead. So, so far, we got uncommons. We got our commons right here. Abandoned sarcophagus, not too bad. All right, let's just go to the middle. We're just going to go right across. So this cycle of cards, um, obviously the Gatewatch were not successful in trying to thwart Nicol Bolas' plans. I mean, come on, it's the God Pharaoh, Nicol Bolas. I mean, he's been around since almost the entire time that Magic has been around. He's one of the most powerful beings in existence in the multiverse. So, I mean, I expected him to win. Um, really cool uh, flavor, of course, though, with the defeat cycle. I mean, they all have something to do with each individual Gatewatch Planeswalker. Um, let's see what else we got. Champion of Wits. There you go. All right. So for three mana, a blue, two colorless, the two one Naga Wizard. When Champion of Wits enters the battlefield, you may draw cards equal to its power. If you do, discard two cards. But the flip side of things, Eternalize, comes back as a four four black zombie Naga Wizard um, for uh, seven mana total. It's two blue, five colorless. So uh, you know when it comes into play with the Eternalize from your graveyard. Let's see, you're gonna be drawing four cards and then discarding two. That's that's really good, I like that. And a hostile desert. All right, so it's a land, desert. Tap, add one colorless to your mana pool. Pay two, exile a land from your graveyard. Hostile desert becomes a three, four elemental creature until end of turn, it's still land. And our rare for the pack is a God Pharaoh's Gift. That's excellent. All right, so um, for seven mana, it's an artifact. 
At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 4-4 black zombie. It gains haste until end of turn. Vile Manifestation and our rare Oketra's Last Mercy. You gain your, excuse me, for three mana, it's a two white and a colorless sorcery. Your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. I don't know if this is really going to see much standard play. Definitely a good sideboard card in modern. Flying Prowess enters the battlefield. You may put target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library. That last line on top of your library, kind of a huge drawback for me, honestly. Um, I do like it's a 2-2 Flying Prowess for three. Um, definitely gonna fit into my burn deck, perhaps. Um, or I might just go straight up blue, red Prowess. I don't know, is it colors? I always love them. All right, so anyways. Uh, rambling on a little too much. Overcome, got another one of those. Nimble Obstructionist, there you go, that's excellent. Flash Flying, cycling for a blue and two colorless. It's a bird wizard, 3-1. When you cycle Nimble Obstructionist, counter target activated or triggered ability you don't control. Excellent, very good. All right, so no full arts, but I got a foil swamp. Ooh. All right, we're gonna put our foils over here. All right, so for a green and a colorless, you get a Jackal Wizard, it's a 2-2. When Resilient Kenra enters the battlefield, you may have target creature get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is Resilient Kenra's power. Of course, it's got Eternalize, I love these Eternalize cards. They tend to, they tend to uh, coexist very well with themselves. It's pretty good, not too bad. Um, still no full arts. A friend of mine was talking about, uh, is it normal to pull pretty much nothing but full arts? Um, I would say probably not, considering I haven't pulled a single one out of this box yet. So, Charlie, if you're watching this, you're a lucky man getting all those full arts, man. Uh, all those viziers and a fraying sanity, all right. If you watch my buddy Taryn over on MTGO Traders on YouTube, he actually just did a Simic Fraying Sanity mill deck recently. Um, I expect this card to jump up in price. It's already roughly about four bucks from what I understand. Um, I could easily see it go up higher than that. Uh, turn five mill. At the beginning of each end step, Enchanted Player puts the top X cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, where X is the number of cards put into that graveyard from anywhere this turn. Costs three mana, blue and two colorless. I like it. Still no full arts, regular basic, and there's some jank. Anyway. Anybody even use those cards, honestly? Jet and a scavenger grounds. Okay, so it's a desert land. Add a colorless to your mana pool. Pay two, tap. Sacrifice a desert, exile all cards from all graveyards. Uh, definitely an anti-delirium card for sure. Still, uh, nothing, nothing too crazy to write home yet about. A braid, all right. Probably one of the better burn spells in the standard format currently. Um, it's a, a red and a colorless for an instant. Choose one. A braid deals three damage to target creature, or you can destroy target artifact. So, I mean, kills a lot of things in the format, and it's really good against Torrential Gear Hulk. Uh, Red's got an instant speed destroy artifact card now with a little bit more uh, options. And. Ooh, ho, 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 Hour of Devastation! Excellent. So, for any of you who don't know, it's a sorcery for two red and three colorless. All creatures lose indestructible until end of turn. Hour of Devastation deals five damage to each creature and each non-bolus planeswalker. We finally have a board wipe that deals with planeswalkers and creatures all at the same time. That five mana is not a big drawback for me. I love it, I'm excited. Let's go to this uh, Nickel Bolus pack right here. 
Hope you are enjoying this video so far. If you are, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you are a fan of Mind Sculpting MTG. And a Ronus's Last Stand. That's excellent. I love it. So it's a sorcery, two green mana. Create a 5 4 green snake creature token. Lands you control don't untap during your last, during your next untap step. So a 5 4 for two mana, you say? That's ridiculous. That's bonkers. I don't care if my lands don't untap next untap step. I will totally play that. I see this going into lots and lots of decks. I'm excited to play this card. and Swarm Intelligence. So, seven mana, it's a blue and six colorless enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for that copy. And still no full arts, no biggie. Hey, there you go. Got a horse token right here, a little five-five. Horse tribal might be a thing, that'd be great. And our rare is an Earthshaker Kenra. Cool. So it's a 2 1 for 2. Uh, so red and a colorless Jackal Warrior Haste. When Earthshaker Kenra enters the battlefield, target creature with power less than or equal to Earthshaker Kenra's power can't block this turn. Eternalize. 2 red and 4 colorless. We already know the deal on that. Comes back as a 4 4 black zombie Jackal Warrior token. God, those creature types. So many of them. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, excellent, I love it. Um, I don't know what kind of deck this would really go into, honestly. Obviously a very, a, a very aggressive strategy. Um, can't wait to, uh, oh, there we go. First full art and it is a forest. Love it. All right, so that's going over here. And jank. Again, like, does anybody even use those? Uh, did anybody use those from Amonkhet, honestly? I didn't. I don't really care to. It's kind of like, uh, you know, for the flip cards from Innistrad or the Planeswalkers from uh, Origins. Like, I didn't use those place markers. Vizier of the True and our rare is a Leave to Chance. All right, so it's an Aftermath card. Instant for a white and colorless. Return any number of target permanents you own to your hand. Other side, chance. Sorcery for a red and three colorless. Discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. It's a wheel effect, love it. Don't know what that would go in, and there we go. Awesome, and another insect token, I'm digging it. And, Pride Sovereign, all right. So, Cat Tribal, coming back, for sure. It was already looking good with uh, Amonkhet being released. Um, with Hour of Devastation looking that much better. I mean, you get a 2-2 two -two here. Cat for a green and two colorless. Pride Sovereign gets plus one, plus one for each other cat you control. If you have ever even played against or with, you know, any of the new cats, you know you are creating tons of tokens. This thing is gonna be huge on turn three. And then also he makes tokens too. Pay a white and tap, exert Pride Sovereign. Love the exerting being on non-attacking abilities as well. Create two one one white cat creature tokens with lifelink. I love it. Hey, there we go. Got us a full art forest and a dream stealer token. Excellent, excellent. Sun Scourge Champion, and our rare is a Jeru with eyes open. So it's a human warrior legendary creature. Pay, uh, see, it, it costs two white and three colorless, has vigilance to 4 3. When Jeru with eyes open enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a planeswalker card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. If a source would deal damage to a planeswalker you control, prevent one of that damage. I'm excited to see if this thing even sees any play. Uh, regular, and bam, another cat token. Struggle to survive, and our rare is an Angel of Condemnation. Excellent. Two white and two colorless. You get a 3-3 Flying Vigilant Angel. Pay two colorless and a white tap. Exile another target creature. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next unstep. Uh, instep, excuse me. Unstep? Unkeep? 
upkeep? What am I talking about? Anywho, uh, so yeah, you get the flicker stuff. Two colorless and a white tap. Exert Angel of Condemnation. There you go. Exert again in a non-combat role. Exile another target creature until Angel of Condemnation it leaves the battlefield. So not only can you help protect your own stuff, you can also use this as a removal piece. I love it. Anybody uh, checked out that uh, blue-white monument deck? It's huge. I love it. I want to build a five color monument deck. <laughs> it's Brian Canada's influence on me for that matter. Hold and our rare is an Unesh Cryosphinx. Yeah, Cryosphinx, is that right? Sovereign, all right, legendary creature Sphinx. Costs six mana, two blue, and four colorless. Sphinx tribal EDH, perhaps? Flying, Sphinx spells you cast cost two less to cast. Whenever Unesh or another Sphinx enters the battlefield under your control, reveal the top four cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. I love it. Ooh, foil. Sunset Pyramid. Excellent. Put that in that stack and another mountain. Love it. And Resilient Kenra. There we go. All right, so far, you know, getting some uh, eternalized creature tokens. It's great. Desert's Hold, and our rare is Hazard's Undying Fury. Two red and four colorless sorcery. Shuffle your library, then exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of non-land cards with converted mana cost five or less from among them without paying their mana cost. Lands you control, don't untap during your untap step. A little foil action for you, shiny. All right, no comments. There we go, got our Jace's Defeat. In case you didn't know, I have a pit bull lab mix named Jace. Named him after the Planeswalker, of course. His whole name is actually Jace the Bone Sculptor, like Jace the Mind Sculptor. Counter target blue spell if it was a Jace Planeswalker spell, cry two. A reason to believe. I'm gonna give you a reason to believe. Believe that. Scry three for the first part for one blue mana sorcery. Then for a green and four colorless sorcery. Look at the top card of your library. You may put it onto the battlefield if it's a creature card. If you don't, put it into your hand. Then we got a Kenra Eternal. All right, cool little foil action again. And oh, there we go. Got us a full art island. Eh, zombie token. Nobody cares. I don't know. Some of y'all might care. I don't. Honestly. And Hour of Revelation. All right, so we got two hours so far. Um, let's see. So for three white, three colorless, Hour of Revelation costs three less to cast if there are ten or more non-land permanents on the battlefield. Destroy all non-land permanents. Yeah, that's definitely going to see play. I see it happening for sure. Full Art Swamp and a Warrior Token. All right. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this box so far. I can't complain too bad, honestly. I mean, it's not like I owned any Hour of Devastation until now, so there you go. Of course, it's only the day after release. I didn't attend the pre-release. Not really a sealed kind of guy or a limited kind of guy. Claim to fame. This is this is a really good card. So real quick, for a single black sorcery, return target creature card with converted minor cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Fame, red and one colorless. Target creature gets plus two plus zero and gains haste until end of turn. So let's get this straight. For three mana, you get to reanimate a two cost creature, swing in the turn that it comes into play, and it also gets a buff. I like it. I, I definitely want more of these for sure. Um, I really hope I pull some more of these. Dur Dune Diviner, all of a sudden I can't talk. Another Hour of Revelation, cool. All right, all right. Not too shabby, looking pretty good. A little foil action, a little uh, janky swamp, and a little janky insert. Anyways, nobody cares. All right, next pack. I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. <laughs> All you people with ADHD, you're loving it, I'm sure, hopefully. Anyways, another Jace's Defeat. Dunes of the Dead. Bane Whip Punisher, and what's our rare? Hour of Glory, very excellent. So now we've got three different hours. All right, so for a black and three colorless instant exile target creature, if that creature was a god, its controller reveals his or her hand and exiles all cards 
from it with the same name as that creature. Definitely going to see some sort of play. And there we go. We got a full art planes. I love these new full arts from uh, Hour of Devastation showing the devastation of the plane. It's excellent. Great flavor. Eh, nobody cares about that insert. I'm just tossing them all over the place. If my wife were to walk in right now, she'd be like, what the hell is going on in here? I thought you were opening up a booster box for the channel. I am. Making a mess in the process. She's used to it. Supreme Will, finally, one of these. Uh, I was really hoping I'd at least pull a couple of these, honestly. Probably one of my favorite uncommons from the new set. Cost of blue, two colorless, instant. So you can either counter target spell, if, unless it's controller pays three, or you can look at the top four cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Love it, love it, excellent. Ominous Sphinx and a Ramunat Hydra. All right, so Vigilance, Reach, Trample for a green and three colorless. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Gets plus one, plus one as long as you control a desert. Who knows? Deserts might be a thing. Rami not Hydra gets plus one, plus one as long as there is a desert card in your graveyard. So, potentially 5-5 five, five for four. Vigilance, Reach, and Trample could be a good card, honestly. Uh, Sidewinder, Naga. Naga, please. Another claim to fame. Excellent. Very good. Devotee of Strength and Adorned Pouncer. There you go. All right. So for a white and one colorless, you get a 1-1 double striker with Eternal Eyes for two white and three colorless. Sorry that my camera keeps going in and out of focus. And a full art island jank. Hope you are enjoying me throwing those cards. I'm doing it for you guys. Doing it for you. Consigned to Oblivion, and our rare is another Fraying Sanity. Awesome, love it. So now we got two of those, no reason to even discuss that. Jank. Uh, they are all over my floor right now. Stupid little inserts. It's a waste of cardboard if you ask me. Sheffit Dunes, and our rare is the Locust God. All right, I'm excited. I love is it colors anyway. So we get a 4-4 God for six mana total. It's a red and blue four colorless. It's got flying. Whenever you draw a card, create a 1-1 one, one blue and red insect creature token with flying in haste. Pay two colorless, a red and a blue. Draw a card, then discard a card. And whenever the Locust God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. So this is definitely going in red, blue control for sure as a secondary win condition um, alongside Torrential Gear Hulk. A lot of people are diversifying their win conditions a little bit more uh, in their uh, control decks if they're using Torrential Gear Hulk because Dispossess kills you. Anyways, regular Swamp, let me guess, Jank. Why did I put that in the full art? That doesn't go. You're not good enough to be in the full art stack. Go back to where you came from. Riddle form, excited about this too as well. It's an enchantment for one colorless and a blue. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may have Riddle form become a 3-3 Sphinx creature with flying in addition to its other types to end a turn. Or you can also pay a blue and two colorless. You get to scry one. I love it. Another claim to fame, got three of those now, and Kefnit's last word. So, two blue, two colorless, it's a sorcery. Gain control of target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Lands you control, don't untap during your next untap step. Regular, and hey, you got a token. That's more useful than those little red inserts. Got another riddle form, I'm digging it. Consigned to Oblivion and Imminent Doom. All right, so it's, it's an enchantment, one red, two colorless. Imminent Doom enters the battlefield with a Doom counter on it. Doom counter, doom to doom, doom, doom. Whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost equal to the number of Doom counters on Imminent Doom, Imminent Doom deals that much damage to target creature or player. Then put a Doom counter on Imminent Doom. Lots of Doom, plenty of Doom. Just checking out what I got left. I got seven packs to go. We can speed through these a little bit, right? Ifner, Deadlands, and Solemnity. All right. Solemnity? Solemnity? Eminemony? Nemo? Where's Nemo? Anyway. A white and two colorless enchantment. Players can't get counters. Counters can't be put on artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. Wizards, I don't know why you really printed this card. Uh, I'm kind of thankful you did. At the same time, kind of hate you for printing this card, honestly. Uh, regular Planes and Earthshaker Tenra token, once again. All right. The final countdown, we got six packs left. Almost through, y'all. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this box. Hadn't really pulled anything of just complete 
extreme value, I don't think. Um, I think Hour of Devastation is a pretty pricey card from what I understand. Steward of Solidarity, Imaginary Threats, Raminap Ruins, and the Scarab God. There you go. So I've got two gods now. Excellent. Two of the new gods. I love it. So this is the Zombie God, basically, or the Eternalized God, if you want to. It's a 5-5. Five, five black blue three colorless at the beginning of your upkeep each opponent loses x life and you scry x where x is the number of zombies you control you can then also pay a black and a blue and two colorless exile target creature card from a graveyard create a token that's a copy of it except it's a 4-4 black zombie and same as the locust god whenever the scarab god dies return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step all right i'm excited I, i'm liking this box for sure don't really care about anything else now i take that back if if i could pull a, a nickel bowl that's the dream. No, the dream would be a foil nickel bolus. That would be just winning all day, every day. Dagger of the Worthy and Neheb the Eternal. All right, so that's another mythic right there. It's a uh, two red, three colorless for a four six legendary zombie minotaur warrior. It's got a flick three. Whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses three life. At the beginning of your post combat main phase, add a red mana to your mana pool for each one life your opponents have lost this turn. Another full art island. All right. I will say I feel like I've pulled a decent amount of full arts, honestly with it. Oh, uh, maybe Charlie was exaggerating, I don't know. Sand Strangler and Apocalypse Demon. Two black, four colorless, flying. Apocalypse Demon's power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your graveyard. At the beginning of your upkeep, tap Apocalypse Demon unless you sacrifice another creature. Three packs to go. Oh, makes me sad. It really does. I wish I had another box to bust right now. Cardboard crack at its finest. And Razaketh, there you go, all right. So three black, five colorless. It's an eight, eight legendary demon with flying and trample. Pay two life, sacrifice another creature, search your library for a card and put that card into your hand and shuffle your library and it tutors. Doomfall. Very good uncommon from this set. It's a uh, black and two colorless. Choose one. Target opponent exiles a creature he or she controls. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-line land card from it. Exile that card. This and Supreme Will. I love it all day long. Bantu's Last Reckoning. Excellent. Two black, one colorless. Destroy all creatures. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. I love how we can board wipe on turn three in black again. All right, y'all. Is it? last pack of the box and another hazard's undying fury all right all right y'all that was the box all in all i'd say it was a pretty good box i mean it wasn't the best box but it also certainly wasn't the worst i enjoyed my pulls um just a little quick quick recap real quick hour of glory bantu's last reckoning razaket the foul foul blooded Apocalypse Demon, Champion of Wits, Nimble Obstructionist, Two Fraying Sanities, that's excellent, Swarm Intelligence, Unesh, Captain's Last Word, Jeru, Angel of Condemnation, Oketra's Last Mercy, Solemnity, I think that's how you say it, Two Hour of Revelations, Adorned Pouncer, Resilient Kenra, Ronus's Last Stand, very excited, Pride Sovereign, Remunap Hydra, Two Hazards Undying Fury, An Hour of Devastation, Neheb the Eternal, Earthshaker Kenra, Imminent Doom, Scarab God, Locust God, Leave to Chance, Reason to Believe, Abandoned Sarcophagus, and God Pharaoh's Gift with Hostile Desert and Scavenger Grounds to round it all out got a couple of rare deserts hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more of these leave me some comments down below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel my name is captain foggy i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next upkeep